Hello everybody, welcome to another Facebook Live. I'm so excited to be here today. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about Kahoot. Kahoot is a fabulous program that is free for teachers and students and they just continue improving it. So a while ago I created a blog post called The Real Teacher's Guide to Using Kahoot in Math Class and it gets a ton of traffic and a lot of views because it's just such a great program. And what I did is I created quite a few video tutorials step by step and how to set that all up. Well, there's been some updates and there have been some questions on how to find some of the cahoots to use in your classroom that are standard aligned for grade eight, algebra one and geometry. So let me slow down just for a minute. My name is Jeanette Stein. I'm the creator of HighSchoolMathTeachers.com and I love helping teachers who work with at-risk students, struggling students. I really have a heart for those students and an even bigger heart for the teachers who choose to teach them. It's a challenging job and it's one of the most rewarding jobs you can have, but you need the support there and I'd love to be that person there for you. So. As we're getting started, I am hopeful that it's live. I am seeing um, on my computer, probably because I'm uploading and downloading at the same time, that it's not um, really going super quick. I hope it doesn't look like what I'm seeing here. But what I am looking over at is to see the comments. I would love for you to introduce yourself. Let us know a little bit about where you're from and for our question of the day, I always love to have a question of the day. Even if you're watching the replay, please feel free to answer. I encourage you to answer because I love learning more about you because as I create more content, this helps me. So I would love to know, are you in a one-to-one -one, uh, classroom? Do you have computers for each of your students? Are you allowed to use their cell phones? Um, are you, a, or do you have other technology that you share? Or is there technology that the students can share within your classroom? I would just love to know how much technology you have as we consider how much time we spend on these kind of tutorials with the technology that's available today. So if you're just joining us, I would love to let you know we're just going to talk about Kahoot, some of the awesome updates that they've had so far, and where to find some of the awesome new Kahoots that they have actually created. So what I'm going to do is um, go over to my screen and I just want to share with you Kahoot is a fabulous game like program um, that uses cell phones, computers, um, tablets, anything you've got um, to ask questions. Let the kids answer in a gamifying way. This is a wonderful way to review to solidify a um, concept. And so in this blog post that I created, I had some sample algebra cahoots. I've actually got a collection of geometry cahoots that I'd love to add on here. But then Kahoot came out, they actually contacted me in August and said, how else do you use it in your classroom? And I said, one of the difficulties we have is when you use somebody else's Kahoot, you're usually having to edit it. So you're having to take off who's the school mascot or what day is homecoming um, because they're just not relative, you know, relatable to our students in our classrooms. And so one of the things I've noticed they've done is create their own set of math, geometry, eighth grade math programs. And so this has been just a game changer because they're so quick and easy to use the teacher as a teacher. You're not having to go through and edit those things or the pictures of the teachers or any of that. And so let me show you exactly what we're talking about. So I went ahead and I logged in to my Kahoot account. And when I go to find Kahoots, I'm able to search and look for all things. But now to be able to find the Kahoots actually made by the people and the teachers at the Kahoot um, organization, business um, website, I'm not sure what to call it there, uh, partnered with. They partnered with some teachers to get these created. They are um, some fabulous Kahoots, but I had a hard time finding them. So if you go to Kahoot.it, no longer is it getKahoot.it, now it's create kahoot.it and they've also updated it so that you can go to kahoot.com 
and these menus are a little bit different here. So if I go to the old teacher site, it's going to forward me here. And the question I keep getting is, I heard Kahoot made math ones, but if I type in here math, I am getting just a plethora of ones, and I am not easy, easily finding the ones that Kahoot has created. So I'm dealing with, you know, some different things. Some of these are fabulous, and they're worth looking at, but a lot of times these are going to have things in there that you don't necessarily want for your classroom or your school. So let's go ahead and go to the back arrow here and go back to that home page. And you'll see here they've got science that they're creating now. They have all sorts of biology and, but here's your math eight. Okay, here's geometry, some individual ones, volume for eighth grade as well. But you're going to see as I go down, I don't see the algebra ones. And I was having a hard time finding the whole set of algebra. So I did a little research and I found an easy way to find it. So I'm excited to share with you. If you go, not to Kahoot.it, which is your student page, but if you go to Kahoot.com, there we go, Kahoot.com instead of um, createKahoot.it, you'll see that this is different here. This menu up at the top is different. So if you click Explore Games, Apologize about that. Explore games and you scroll down, this is fabulous. So what you've got here is math by Kahoot for algebra. If I continue scrolling, you've got fractions. They did a great job with all types of fractions. You also have, um, I just had it open here. They have, um, geometry and it was just right here so I'm a little bit confused where it went here let's take a look at the algebra collection here so when I go to algebra I've got all of the algebra ones made by Kahoot and it says math underscore by underscore Kahoot that's how you know those ones are created by by Kahoot. Now when you click on the title, you're able to see all the questions. And then you can go ahead and click play to go ahead and do that. Now you can show answers as well and it shows you exactly what they're asking for, which I think is fabulous. Okay, so we're going to hide the answers. Um, find the function by interpreting the statement below and so they've got the images they've got everything ready for you so if you are looking for algebra if you are looking for um, geometry or you're looking for grade 8 here's the algebra one here's the geometry one I apologize just something about being live made me a little nervous my first time screen sharing with you all so I'm hoping everything's going right so when you look at the geometry they also have a wonderful um, collection now these are aligned to the 10th grade geometry standards the other geometry ones you may have seen with like volume or surface area are all in their eighth grade math collection. So these are the actual 10th grade um, standards. And some of them, I'm noticing they've got them in both the eighth grade and the geometry. So, but you can take a look through these, but these are all created by Kahoot. So you've got none of the goofy stuff. You're ready to just hit play and you're ready to go. So I hope this is really helpful. You'll see that in the first comment below, you are going to be able to see um, the actual blog post that I created. That's right here. And when you go to this blog post, you're going to see all the videos about how to get started, how to sign up for free, set up your account, um, and how to find cahoots and edit them to make them your own. So even if you want to use um, some of cahoots, you can still copy them create them your own, add questions to them that you think are important for your classroom. And the videos in this blog post will show you how to do that and how to set up your play button and some awesome tips to help you keep your students accountable, deal with noise control, and um, 
Hopefully have a great time engaging your students in a wonderful review activity. They have new ways for you to assign homework through Kahoot where it will grade it for you. I'm going to be looking further into that. That might be a brand new Facebook Live coming real soon to you because I'm excited to look into that. But if you think this would be helpful, I would find it such a compliment if you would like this video or share this video. If you'd like to see the future Kahoot videos coming out, just make sure to hit the follow button right below this video. You should be able to see it um, right below if you're watching, whether you're watching the replay or not. And please leave me a comment. Do you love Kahoot? Do you use it? I would love to hear from you and I always look forward to engaging with you and seeing what you have to say about it here on Facebook. So thanks so much and have a great day and I look forward to talking to you soon.